Yesu asipio church. Ambe ndani yako sikiza roho hata kusikiza baridi. Hallelujah. God is good. And all the time. Wow, wow, wow. Salamu yote wewe watatu wakaribisha katika ibada. Yeye na muongei, ambe tu mkaribu karibu karibu hata karibu tu. Mwambie jisikie akiwa mahali pa nastahili in the presence of God. Amen. Amen. You may be seated praise and worship by the sana mweza keti. Are you blessed to be here today? Bwana aliambia Musa, mtampenda Bwana Mungu wenu kwa moyo wenu wote na kwa akili zenu zote. Yeye kusema ukimpenda Mungu utamudhihirishia kwamba unampenda. Praise the Lord. Uta discipline even your mind ya kwamba lazima impende Mungu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ni kusema kwamba wakati wa neno haufai kuwa nje. Hiyo ni kumpenda Mungu. Na kama ni kwenda haja ni vizuri unaenda before neno lianze kuhubiriwa. Inatoka mapema ikifika wakati wa neno unatulia. Bwana asifiwe. Unaambia pini kuonesha Mungu ya kwamba you love him. Unamvali, unataka kumsikiza. Lakini ukianza kutoka nje sijui nini nje unarudi unatoka unatoka Mungu atakuangalia anaona haupatile heshima ambayo anafaa kupewa. Praise the Lord. Ukambie ndani yako patia Mungu heshima yake. Na kumpa heshima ni kukaa na kusikia bila nasema. Amen. Musa alikuwa anaweka wana wa Israeli chini anawaambia sikieni Bwana Mungu wenu anavyosema wana kulia wanapewa maneno. So Musa wa leo ni mimi na watumishi wengine ambao wanakupiga. Wakati mtumishi wa Bwana amesimama kunena, wakati umekuwa attentive na kusikiza. At the end of the day, Mungu anaona unamheshimu na lazima atakubariki. Ni vibaya sana umekuja kanisani na ukatikati ya wiki haukukua katika mahubiri, haukusikia chochote. It's very sad. Amen. Ya pili tuko na ibada tumetangazia tutakuwa na ibada saa nane ambayo ito healing service. Tunakuwa nayo once in a month. Kwa hivyo singetaka mukosa kuhudhuria hii ibada. Inakuwa ni nzuri sana kwa sababu ni ibada ambayo watu wanatembelewa na Mungu na njia kubwa sana. Ibada hiyo watu wengi huwa wanajazwa na Holy Spirit. Ibada hiyo watu wengi wanatendea kwa muujiza na Mungu. Kwa hivyo isiwe inatangazwa tu unaenda. Baki tu kwa sababu itakufaidi sana praise the name of jesus watu wengi leo hii ambao bwana ameinua ukichunguza vizuri mara walipokea power ni katika mikutano ya afternoon na mikutano ya kesha na mikutano ya, ya katikati ya wiki kwa hivyo usikose hii ibada kwa sababu ni ya muhimu sana amen kwa hivyo tunaenda kuingia katika kipindi cha kusikiza neno la siku ya leo na ujumbe wangu uh, The, the, the presence of God the presence of God ama uwepo wa Bwana ningetaka niongelee jambo hilo siku ya leo ah uh, unaposikia uwepo wa Bwana ama presence of somebody ile kiwango mtu yule anakuwa amefika uwepo wake unaonekana nanga kwa mfano uhuru akisema ni kutembea kwa church ah, I mean Ruto akisema ni kutembea kwa church leo siku tatu before hii siku ifike kuna kitu ndaza kuona kinafanyika within na ndoa ambayo si cha kawaida ndugu mmoja tukao tukiongea na akaniambia kuna siku kibaki alitembea church ya PCA Kiambu na before that Sunday kuna radi kusa haiko na kosa kupita nje ya church kila siku na iko na Yesu wanaouliza wazee wa kanisa wana kwa wapi hata wanawatembelea wanajua kule wanaishi yani presence ya president na kuja akakuja sunday ilikuwa inaonekana na wakaaji hata wenyeji wakajua area hii kuna kitu ambacho si cha kawaida na wakati kibati alikuja ndio watu wengine walikuwa kumbe ni posa kwa tunaona polisi kila wakati maana huyo ni mfalme na presence yake ilionekana Mwe Mungu apendwa anakuaga na presence yake. Na presence ya Mungu wakati imeshuka ndani ya maisha ya mwanadamu 
mtu huyo huwa habaki leseni majirani na marafiki hata watakwambia na siku hizi maisha yako imebadilika siku hizi wewe sio ule tulikuwa tunazoea na presence of god is the holy spirit is jesus himself wanakwanga watatu in one na nako na kujifunza about the presence tuna kujua how can we receive the presence of god how can we stay in the presence of god how can we connect with this presence of god because imeachiliwa petu tumepewa we as believers we as a church of jesus christ the presence of god is the promise of god in our lives na maneno haya petero aliyaongea akasema roho wa mungu ni ahadi ya mungu kwetu sisi pamoja na watoto wa watoto wetu kwa ni ahadi ya bwana maana presence of god is the holy spirit so anapokushukia huyo ndio uwepo wa bwana kwa maisha yako Nataka kuona ni nini tunafaa kuf, tunafa kufanye ndio uwepo huo tu tu connect nao na ni nini kinafanyaka tunakosa kuingia in the presence of God. Tunajua adui mkubwa ni nani? Anaoa huwa anatuzuilia kutembea katika uwepo wa Bwana. Hebu tusome the benefit of the presence in the book of Psalms 91 verse 1. Tunataka kupata the benefits of the presence of God. Psalms 91 verse 1 Sivyo kama msomaji wangu leo amepatiwa mic kama amesahaulika Psalms 91 The Bible says Jehovah lives in the sacred place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty Eh eh hebu simama hapo kwanza He who dwells in the secret place of most high God shall abide under the shadow of almighty. Hebu ndani Kiswahili yule aketie kwenye kiti cha mali pasiri pake Bwana. Aketie mali pasiri pake aliye juu atakaa katika uvuli wake mwenyezi. Ni kusema in the presence of God hatutembeaki tunatoka. Inasema who dwells yeye aketie ni kukaa. Kwa hiyo ni kusema wakati umeenda mbele za uwepo wa Bwana hauendagi na kutoka unafaa kuwa your lifestyle to dwell in a secret place of most high god unaingia hapo huko unaingia in prayer unaingia in thanksgiving unaingia through worship na wakati wewe kwa Bwana umeshuka kwako unakaa pale hautoki wapenda tuache haraka ya kutoka in the presence of god Daudi ndio siri alijua akiandika Psalms 23 Bwana ndiye mchungaji wangu ilikuwa ni lifestyle yake na alianza akiwa akitunza kondoo na mbuzi za baba yake akiwa kijana mdogo kwa sisi alikuwa na karumbeta kake alikuwa anapiga pale atumwabudu Mungu David was a worshipper mtu huyo alijua siri ya kukaa kwenye siri pake Mungu Before that hadi Simba ilikuja kachukua mwana kondoo Maneno nasema kwamba anairukia anaipasua anainyang'anya kondoo na ni kijana wa 17 years. Bila silaha mkononi anaua simba. Anaipasua. Maana in the presence of God hakuna kitu kinakwanga above you. Unapewa nguvu nyingine extraordinary power. To dwell in the presence of God that's a place of victory. That's a place that you receive power. That's a place of connection and graces. Praise the Lord. Wakati Daudi anatoka, akaenda kutana Goliath. Hata kimwana hivi, giant mkubwa, mtu wa futi tisa, Daudi anaona ni kitu kidogo. Wakati Sauli na wanajeshi wanakimbia, maana alikuwa na issue the presence. Akitokelezea hivi, hakuna kitu kubwa alikuwa anaona, maana the power of God ilikuwa juu yake. Na Mose anasimama anasema, akinisema ule taua huyu atapewa nini? Akamwambia unajua ni chitu amepigana vita miaka mingi Daudi wezani na yeye akamwambia ninawauliza atalipwa nini atakayeua hii jitu akamwambia atapewa binti ya mfalme na familia yao haitalipa ushuru Daudi anaenda vitani bila uoga maana anajua mali nilitoka asubuhi nilikuwa katika uwepo wa Bwana wapendwa hiyo siri if you want to you want to victory in your life 
Ukitaka maisha yako ishiwe na jangwa. Ukitaka maisha yako iwe na na mafanikio, lazima ujue siri ya kuketi or to dwell in the secret place of most high God. Maana nasema shall abide under the shadow of almighty. Utakaa chini ya kivuli ya Mwenyezi. Yote utakaa chini yake, hakuna kitu kitaogopa. Tutaye kuna wakristo wengi hawalali usiku, hawalali usiku, wamejawa na uoga. Shetani anawaokesha mandoto mzito mzito la kuasua. Watu wa Mungu watembea na pressure na wameokoka. Na kile kimesababisha kwa yote ni uoga na wasiwasi ya maisha ya kesho. Lakini Daudi akamwambia wale wanaoketi kwenye siri pake Mungu wanakaa chini ya ulinzi wa Bwana. So the presence of God is a secret. Hallelujah. Turn to your neighbor tell neighbor. If you want peace and victory dwells in the presence of God. Not just to visit to pray. Hallelujah. Bwana asipiwe. Hebu sasa jirani unakaa dakika ngapi mbele za Bwana wakati tunaomba? Mwingine mnakuwa ni kama bad driver wa safari rali in the presence of God. Baba nataka amen unataka amen. Baka Mungu atajua anauza malaika na leo nasema nini? Ile mpio unakuwa kanaye. Maana unasema kwamba dress kiti pale. Wacha haraka. Praise the Lord. Ambe jirani wacha haraka kiti pale. Hapo ndipo pako na nguvu. Alafu watu ambao wamekaa in the presence of God wanapewa kiguvu kingine. Hakuna kitu unaona ni kama kikubwa kwa maisha yako. Hata ukiambiwa utafutwa kazi uja smile. Baka tuna ni kama hauko nomo. Siko sababu uko nomo ni ile kiwango umefikishwa na realm of the spirit. Hakuna kitu kinakustuara. Na unatamkaa leo unasema wale wamenitwangia njama i backfire. Wakena miti mvutu wale wanatanganyikiwa na shida wako na kuvutia nini? Wanakosa reason unarudiwa kazi. Maana ali the presence of God. Ambia jirani hajawahi shindwa. Amen. Ambia jirani wewe niangalie tu lakini kuna neema hapa. Hebu tuende basu in Kiswahili language pekee Kiswahili. Basu. Atasema Bwana ndiye kimbilio langu na ngome yangu. Mungu wangu nitakaye mtumaini. Mtu yule anayeketi katika kwenye siri pa Mungu. Maana ukasema atasema Bwana ndiye kimbilio langu. Nikusema ako na kitu ya kulini nayo. Ako na kitu ya kushiria. Bwana ndiye atakuwa tumaini lako. Unapo face obstacles of life. Unapo encounter some challenges. Hautaogopa chochote maana kinywa chako kitakuwa kinasema Bwana ndiye kimbilio langu na tumaini langu. Hautaogopa kama wakenya wengine. Hata ume ikiongezwa tumbo yako hautakoteka answers because of the economy of this country. Mungu atakuwa anakupatia neema na atakuwa anakusustain maana anasema atasema Bwana ndiye kimbilio langu. Mungu ndiye atakuwa kimbilio lako katika kipindi chote cha maisha yako. Lakini siri hii itaeleweka na yule tu atakuwa in the secret place of most high God. Maana mahali pale pamejaa uwepo wa Bwana. When you have the presence of God, you have everything. I assure you. Hakuna mlima wote utakuwa mbele yako because the presence of God itakusustain. Ina robi utasurvive. Ukiketi kwenye siri pake Mungu hautafikia kurudi ushako kwa sababu uchumi ni mgumu. Utamwamini Mungu atakaye Bwana ndiye kimbilio langu na utasurvive na watoto watasoma, watakula, utafanya shughuli zote utalipa mpaka nyuma, nyumba I mean, na neema ya Bwana itakutosha na hautapungukiwa. Maana in the presence of Jesus there is a fullness of joy. Na sababu ni sehemu haleluya. Hebu tuende verse 3. Maana yeye atakuokoa sasa hapa presence of God in a to promise protection. Write that point down, very important. When you're in the presence of God, your protection is guaranteed. Ulizi wako ni guaranteed. Hautaogopa wachawi wa kwenu. Hautaogopa mapepo. Maana ukasema kwamba basi maana yeye atakuokoa kutoka kwa mtego wa mwindaji. Mwindaji ni mtu ambaye anawinda maisha yako. Mwindaji ni mtu ambaye anawinda kazi yako. Mwindaji ni mtu ambaye anawinda mume wako. Hello dada. Kama tuko na mama in this house say hi here you. Kama mzee wako umeona ako ni hali ya hatari, enda in the presence 
sokote mtekwa wa mwindaji wa kusulekwi ataokolewa na mikono yao hallo dada hapa yeah. nikipatia stress kwa simu anaongea na nani uh, he, he call he call uh, 0524 isikusumbue hiyo bora in a secret place of most high god to sleep with kama mzee wako tunaona giza hallo Mtu anasema kwamba hata kwa kodi kwa mali wa mwindaji. So chochote chako ambacho kinawindwa, Bwana atakuokoa mikononi mwa yule anayekuinda. Amen. Wakati umelala Bwana atakulinda, atakulinda. Wakati uko na Bwana atakulinda. Hizi mahatari nyingi zinapokezea watu sikuizi. Maajali ambayo wewe uko explain. Hatari zingine ambazo ni ya kunomo. Mwandiko anasema yule atakati atakati the secret place of most high god. Meaning in the presence of god. Wanaokuwinda watawindwa. Haleluya. Wanaotaka kuangamizwa wataangamia wao. Bwana atakuokoa mikononi mwa mwindaji maana wajua siri ya kuketi the secret place of most high god. Hiyo ndio siri. Ukiketi pale hautaogopa chochote. Hautaogopa ajali za barabarani. Maana maandiko yamekuwa sure atakulinda na mtego wa mwindaji. Na katika maradhi mabaya Maradhi mabaya ni magonjwa ambayo yanashambulia watu. Unataka kidogo unasikia umeshikwa na kiugonjwa mpaka daktari akipima anakuta na hii huko hata mwenyewe daktari anasema ugonjwa na gadi imekushika. Ni maradhi mabaya hizo zinakuwa attacks. Kuna mapepo wapendwa ya tabianga usiku ya kidistribute magonjwa kwa watu. Mtu aliyana vizuri hapo ana shida, asubuhi anaona ana kifua, kwenda anaambia sio moyo wake na shida gani? Sio roho yake iko na shida gani? Wewe unasikia maini yako iko na shida gani? Wewe unasikia mapafu yao kimepimwa iko na kugrowth na mea huko. Hii yote ni maradhi mabaya. When you dwell in the presence of God, atakulinda na maradhi mabaya. So if you want security, stay in the presence of God. Wacha kujiweka shukuru ya kidini uko busy sana ni kama unajenga Kenya nyingine. Hii Kenya ni ile ile. Creative time na Mungu wapendwa mwache mchezo maana ukuinja kuna mahatari kuna ulimwengu mwingine hamuonangi na macho umekaa na mapepo ambayo inasumbua dunia na Yesu akasema mkoo wa ulimwengu huu amekucha huko shetani yako busy akiangamiza wanadamu ndiposa tuwe set in this world we must stay in the presence of Jesus hapo ndipo pako na security without that tutakuwa na pole kwa njia hii tunakimbizana nyingine tunatoka katika shida hii tunakimbia kwa nyingine but wakati in the presence of god hata goli atatokezee hata kuona maana umelindwa haleluya hiyo siri daudi alikuwa nayo na siku moja mungu akasema nimepata mtu wa moyo wangu ni daudi maana daudi alijua umuhimu wa kukaa in the presence of god wengine wengi wanaweza kuona movie 3 hours lakini kuomba kuka ina uwepo wa Bwana kwa tatu minutes ni shida. Wengine wanakuwa mpira mechi kama ine. Hiyo ni almost karibu 5 to 6 hours. Na usingizi haiendi. Lakini wakati mnaanza kuomba tu unaweza kuwa mewe hizo. Ni kusema elimu yako iko na shida. Praise the Lord. Kuna wengine wanaanga series za Oso Opera mpaka mnaimaliza within a week lakini hata chapter moja ya bible you don't know na unaambia bwana nilinde na wachawi watu kunyonga sana kwa hiyo siku nasema nilindwa unanyongwa hiyo usiku maana you are outside the presence wapenda niwaambie mapepo nakutesa hata kama umeokoka usipojielewa hata na kwa bible nasema bwana ni mchungaji wangu but ukikoti your bus when in the flesh zitakuwa attack bado because the word of god become life when you in the presence of jesus so kitada in the flesh it doesn't make sense so siri kubwa kwanza ni uingie in the secret place and then you you quote the verse adui atakimbia amina hebu tuende verse 4 kwa manyoya yake atakufunika in the presence of god tunafunikawa na manyoya mungu anakuwa na manyoya yake atakufunikaka wote wewe kama vile kuku wakati niona ego inatembea juu kuna sauti inatoaga zile vifaranga zinaingia chini ile kuku zinafunikwa ni kusema ego haitaona zile vifaranga hivyo ndio Mungu anafanyanga ukikaa in the presence of god in the secret place of most high god wakati ameona hatari huwa anakuwa lax na anakuita anakufunika atakufunika ukiwa mbali lazima ukae karibu na yeye ndio akufuniki 
hata vifaranga lazima sikae karibu na kuku tusifunikwe so watu wengi tumekaa sana nje ya uwepo wa Bwana we are born again christian yes tunakuja kanisani baka tujakuja hatujakuwa connected na presence kwa wakati yule amekuja ana kugonga unakimbia kutafuta ulizi baadaye baka afai kugonga unafaa kulindwa ndio maandiko nasema kwa manyoya yake atakufunika chini ya bawa zake utapata kibilio hapo ndipo hatari ikikuja utakuwa na kibilia maana you know the secret of the presence of god amina verse 5 Huto ogopa hatari ya usiku. Hebu angalia jirani ana kama yule macho yake ni red. Ndio huwa dalala. Wamesumbua ya usiku yote. Angalia jirani macho. Kuna nadi. Kuna watu hapo wa dalala usiku. Mkao na suka suka kai. Mmm. Baka hata pande kibida yeye anapiga duru kidogo sana shinde shinde shinde. Hizi mauonga sote ni bila kwa mwili ingia in the secret place of most high god utakuwa ndalala kama katoto hautaogopa hofu ya usiku hautaogopa hatari za usiku unajua ni makosa na ni dhambi ya kutubu mkristo kukosa usingizi si ni dhambi hiyo tunafaa kutubu kabisa a believer okay dokta jeni muzi hii kitu pasta anasema ishaikusumbua Kuna watu wakisikia Ruto ametatu wanakasirika tu kwa sababu vile mambo uchumi umeenda mpaka sasa unakosa usingizi kwa sababu ya hiyo. Maandiko nasema wale wanaketi kwenye siri ya Mungu. Maandiko nasema kwamba hawataogopa hatari ya usiku. Nini ambao watu wanaogopa usiku? Ni mambo mengi. Hautaogopa hizo mahatari. Wala mshale urukao mchana. Hiyo ni hatari. Mshale ya ushako na machawi watu wabaya wa maneno wanasema huyo si faulu mtu anakwenda kwa muganga anapeleka sacrifice anachukua picha yako anachukua kivuli chako wengine mpaka wanachukua kama mchanga wanapeleka kwa muganga wanakurushia hata ndio maana ulipo usifanikiwe wala usiendelee bibi anasema kwamba walio wanaoketi kwenye siri pake ya Mungu in the presence of God mshale huo kirushwa hautafika kwako bwana atakulinda haleluya guza jani kwa mapega mwambie bwana atakulinda na mshale urukao mchana lakini keti kwenye siri wengine mmejawa na DJ flow na janga kwa kitu mpaka unaotaka na yeye aya 20 verse 6 wala mapingo ya jao usiku wala maafa yatokeayo adhuhuri Wapendo mnakubalia nini kwamba kuna mapigo inakutaka watu usiku. Kuna watu wanaraga wanakufa usiku. Unapata mtoto ameshinda vizuri mchana usiku anagonjeka, mtu akusumbue ukibizana na yeye usiku. Na hata huna gari. Hauna pesa na kunaweza kukomboa taksi. Yeye usumbuke tu. Watu kupiga watu saa tisa au kuwaitisha pesa na kupeleka mtoto Kenyatta. Ili mapigo ya jao usiku. Kama unataka kuondokea haya yote, the Bible is very clear dwell in the secret place of most high god lipa hiyo gharama ya kukaa in the presence of god one hour two hours ama three hours na wewe ukizoea hiyo kuna vitu vimeondokea that's the secret kama utaki kukimbia hapa na pale kwa sababu ya matatizo na majanga na maata dwell in the presence of god hapo ndipo pako na protection can somebody say amen kwa nini kuna kimbia wakati is too late kwa sababu hatujaji train kujizuia kwanza before attacks kuje utajizuiaje kukaa katika siri yake Mungu wala maafa yatoke yao adhuhuri kuna vifo vinakujaga afternoon mjiachana mtu asubuhi anza kutoka kazi kuna gari imefanyika kuna report sio anko atafanya nini amegongwa na pikipiki amegongwa na gari sio ameanguka hizi maafa za adhuhuri ambazo adui anaatakiki watu nazo wale wataketi in the secret place of most high god in the presence of jesus hiyo maafa ya adhuhuri haitakukaribia so biblia ina particularize wa step moja ya pili na ya tatu na ile duweza kuelewa mambo ambayo inakumbaga watu ama disasters ambazo zinakuta wanadamu wewe utakuwa secure in the presence of jesus amen verse 7 hata watu elf wakianguka ubavuni pako 
na watu elfu kumi katika mkono wako wa kulia wewe hutakaribiwa na maafa haleluya bwana sifiwe kama ingekuwa na ubizo la Afrika ile amen ingetoka hapa hello church kanisa la Kenya mpo ama ni connect na wanigeria mpo bwana yesu asifiwe maana sana watu elfu wakianguka nikusema wataketi kusanya against your life wataanguka wao wenyewe haleluya tukiketi kwenye siri ya Mungu waganga na wachawi wataanguka wenyewe oh waganga wanaofanya maajabu wataanguka wenyewe watu wabaya wataanguka wenyewe oh haleluya watu wenye uwezo wataanguka wenyewe wanaotujibia shimo wataingia wao in the presence of god there is victory and protection wacha tukae pale wapendwa hapo ndipo pako na ulinzi wa kutosha wambia wati wanana kukuroza kuna cheka mana wakijaribu wanaanguka wao amen mana umelindua nojua kuwa na watch movies ya nigeria hizi za chungango ganga unanaka mtu wameenda anambia na mtanga ya mwita jina huyo mtu anamwita kama na uchili eki atokea kwa tv anambia chukua kisu gunga ye anamdungia kwa hiyo screen huyo mtu maja riko anaanguka I'm here to tell you hata wakienda wadunge screen wewe hautadungika wakikushinda kwa shimo hautaingia wataanguka wao huyo mganga atayatanguka moto utalipuka kwa hizo manyongo maana umeketi kwenye siri pake Mungu there is a protection there usiwaogope na usanyia nini wanaotembea usiku wa kiroga biashara za watu wakitanguka maneno nasema watakamatwa pale na nguvu za Mungu maana Can somebody say hallelujah? Say I hear you. Now, hebu sikia hapa. Mkono wako wa kulia wewe hutakaribiwa na maafa. Wataanguka wote wanaokuwinda, watu zaidi ya 1000, alafu maafa hayo ama hizo vifo hazitakukaribia. Kongo kama hautaki masaifu yote, amua from today utakuwa na create time each and every day to be in the presence of God. Ukipata nafasi kazini jinyime 20 minutes enda mahali jifungie. Omba be in the presence. Na wakati ambao uko busy weka earphone, weka gospel music, anza worship pale ukiendea na kazi zako. You need to create environment ya ulinzi kwa maisha yako. Watu wako kwa kwa kwa, kwa mwili sana. Jitengenezee realm. Dwell in the secret place. Don't you say man you can't see to talk. Kama leo tuko in the presence of God today. And then baada hapa tujana kama nyumbani. Ukienda nyumbani endeleza hiyo neema, usikubali kufia nje. Tembea nayo. Kazini pia worshipa, kwa barabara pia pray for person. Lazima pia ujifunze maombi ya ndani. Mdomo haisemi chochote lakini ndani unaomba kwa barabara. Au maadui wakijaribu chochote hawatakuona. Hallelujah. Na kama kuna watu shetani anaogopara ni watu wamezoea kukaa in the presence of God. Deposa Daudi aliwindwa na hakupatikana maana hiyo ilikuwa secret place yake. Amen. Verse 8. Ikawa ila kwa macho yako utatazama na kuyaona malipo ya wasio haki. So watu wote ambao wamekuwa wakikutaka upatikane na mabaya wakituwinda wakitaka maisha yako iangamie utaona wakilipwa na macho yako matendo ya wasio haki watajajiwa na Mungu ukiona koko leo hii unapotoka hapa nataka utoke na, na maneno haya upeane hali ya tahadhari katika ulimwengu wa roho halo ambe jani peana tahadhari katika ulimwengu wa roho watu wote wamejifanya maadui wangu hata yule anasema kuongea pia Sema watu wote wamejifanya maadui wangu. Nitaona wakilipwa mchana. Macho yangu itaona wasio haki wakilipwa. In the name of Jesus. Ambe jana usikue adui yangu tafadhali. Si wewe ndio na. Hallelujah. Now, nataka tuangalie mfano mtu mmoja aliyetembea na Mungu na maneno kuna maneno aliyaongea ambaye inahusiana na the presence of God. Let's go in the book of Exodus chapter 33 verse 14 na 15 tuone uh, uh, mtu mmoja ambaye alitembea na uwepo wa Bwana 
na kuna maneno aliyaongea 14 up to 15 Exodus Mbeka na kizungu King James 33 uh, 14 to 15 My presence shall go thee, shall go with thee and I will give thee rest. Mm-hmm. And he said unto him, If thy presence go not with me, carry us not up hence. Amen. Nasikia. Bwana anambia Musa uwepo wangu utapelekana pamoja na nyinyi. Na Musa anasema kama Bwana uwepo wako utaenda na sisi. Kama uwepo wako hatutausikia, hatupoki hapa. Alijua katika uwepo wa Bwana ndio kuna security. Na anajua mbele kuna maadui. Wako na silaha, wamejipanga. Si tumekaa jangwani hatuna silaha kupigana vizuri. Hizi mataifa tunataka kuungana nazo. Ziko na mama ma, ma, silaha, magari ya farasi, wako na vitu vya vita. Sisi hatuna hapa. Wako tunahitaji uwepo wa Bwana uandamane pamoja nasi. Tunaposonga mbele, kama Musa kaambia Bwana, uwepo wako usipenda na sisi hatutoki hapa wapendwa leo hii wacha hiyo ombi lako ya kwamba without the presence of god hauwezi chochote yes. because that is a secret hapa ndipo nguvu za wakristo ziko hapa ndipo upako wetu uko hapa ndipo ushindi wetu uko kwamba uwepo huo ukiondolewa we are nothing kwamba usikubali uwepo wa bwana ukuondoke siku hata moja don't be ignorant usisi maisha tu kama mtu wa kawaida depend na presence of god unapoamka asubuhi usidhani ni kawaida kuamka tu just create the atmosphere hizo dakika chache tu ambazo umeketi kwa hiyo kitanda chako tafuta dakika kumi ama 20 ongea na Mungu na si kuomba tu baba 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 unakuwa na muda kwanza kumpembeleza kumwambia hivyo mwema alivyo mzuri alivyo mwaminifu nyinyi ambao mna 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 ni mindsets wa spiritual warfare kuna wakati si wakati vita maana si Maana sasa haleluya. Presence ya Mungu ndio inakupeleka kwa vita. Usijia kwa vita kama ujeingia kwa presence. Amen. Amen. Kama umekana ndio sasa mwambie unaingia kwa presence kwanza na uingie kwa vita. Si kwa vita then presence. Utapigwa na adui. Kwa presence kwanza. Unajitengenezea uwepo wako hapo. Unampembeleza Mungu na maneno mazuri. Mungu ni asante kwa kuniamsha. Usiku wote siku jua kweli nilikuwa lakini umelipa siku nyingine i give you the glory unapatia maneno mazuri unajitengenezea environment ambaye Mungu atashuka na uwepo wake wapendwa ukitoka hapo hata kama uko umepangiwa ajali ina backfire amen hata kama umepangiwa maattack maybe unataka kuna maattack zingine imagine umenara vizuri unaenda job asubuhi unachukua matatu unafika town wakati tunapata kuna mali mvua imenyesha hiyo siku ni kamawe tu unafaa ukanyanga na watu wengine imagine wameruka vizuri wewe kwa ndoka nyaga yuka kamawe kana teguka unaingia kwa hiyo maji bro unashindwa na mwezi kokona una pesa kununua nguo nyingine kwa mama anakupishika kaleso pole na umevaza white hiyo siku hizo ni matak but we did create environment asubuhi ya uwepo wa bwana unaongea na for 30 minutes in the morning atasababisha siku hiyo before uanguke amecreate kitu cha kuondoa kwa hiyo hatari ndiye kuna mkasi bibi na sare alam papa kuoga kunya chai na kutoka hata mungu jaomba na hujui kwa nje shetani anakupangia nini niposa uwe secure akisha kwamba umejitengenezea environment ya your security in the house before talking praise the lord unakaa una mkasa 11 asubuhi unajitayarisha unatoka 6 anza kuamka for party ama for unakuwa na wana ama 45 minutes every day unakuwa na Mungu kwanza unabariki siku hiyo unatamuka maneno ushindi siku hiyo hiyo siku unatamuka ulinzi wa Mungu ndio kitoka unakuwa na baraka kama unataki stress za kazini hmm? bwana sikie unaenda kwa ofisi mande unapata watu wote wamenuna wanashanga na watu tuachana Friday wako sawa leo ni nini maana kule walidana hizo kwa weekend wengine walikuwa kirapu wakapigana huko na machupa mimi nganya nganya ma boyfriend huko kwa ba sasa umekuta watu wako na stress sasa magini nganya nganya hadi but what to what the presence of god umeomba umejiprotect hata ukiingia wakikuwa na hivi wanasikia kukupenda kwa sababu hiyo in the presence of god wapendwa hiyo ndio siri 
kama mtaki mamuti za money za Monday hizo za dini be in the presence of God. By the way kuna wakristo pia wanakoka hivyo. Hata wazee wao wanajiwaga. Tuesday ni siku ya mamuti ya mke wangu. Baka wanajiwaga siku tatu anakuwa amejitayarisha kuendua bad moods. Leo niko na message yako. Kama utaki hizo bad moods amuka be in the presence of God. Presence in awaga mamuti. Hello. Inaondoa kama feeling mbaya mbaya. Bana sikia. By the way kama kuna kitu kinafanya mtu akae sura mbaya ni mamuti. Unaona msichana amekapendi vibe na kasho ushoko sababu ya mamuti mbaya. Anakaza hii. Ambaye ni mtaji upako wa uwepo wa Bwana. Si amenyamaza. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uwepo wa Bwana unaondoa hizo vitu fani fani. Eh hizo ambaye huwa kuelewa mpaka society imekubaliana na ufulani. Wewe kwa na siri kwa sahi zingine ni demonic influence shetani kaa ndani ya mtu kwa hivyo kaa katika uwepo wa Bwana na Musa akasema Bwana uwepo wako sikuenda na mimi sitoki hapa wacha pia wewe iwe ni ombi lako amen let's read the book of Psalms 139 verse 7 tuone vile uh, Daudi anasema maana Daudi aliongelea sana about the presence of God Daudi anaongelea sana about uwepo ambao ni wa Mungu unaofanya mambo mazuri 137 139 sorry verse 7 Women shall I go from thy spirit or whither shall I flee from thy presence Ninaweza nikaenda wapi Daudi anajiuliza swali hilo Niondoke katika uwepo wake Bwana So, aliangalia akaona ni nini hii naweza nikafanye niondoke katika roho wa Bwana ama roho wa Bwana niondoke ama niondoke uwepo wa Bwana Praise the Lord Hivi ilikuwa lifestyle ya Daudi na anaomba sana asije kaondoka ama Bwana akamuondolea roho wake mtakatifu Wapenda usitamani kuishi maisha bila uwepo wa Bwana Usamani kutembea siku hata moja without the spirit of God. Maana yale mapepo unasumbuaga unaangaishaga yanakuwa mengi. Na ile siku utaondoka in the presence of God. Ndio yanakushambuliaga unapigagwa mpaka watu wanaanza kwa nini kukuhapenia. Kwa sababu umekuwa kuwashambulia kwa miaka mingi. Sasa umeondoka, wamepata access ya kukufikia. Usije ukatoka in the presence of God. Hallelujah usivyo kaondolewa wa kupembelezaka Mungu sana kama Daudi asije akakuondolea roho wake mtakatifu usivyo kaondolewa katika uwepo wa Mungu huyu amen first corinthians chapter 3 verse 17 tuwekewe na kiswahili Corinthians chapter 3 verse 17 Kama mtu akiharibu hekalu la Mungu Mungu atamharibu mtu huyo maana hekalu la Mungu ni mtakatifu ambalo ndilo nini Kwa sisi ndio hekalu ambayo presence ya Mungu ilikujaza Inajazaga hilo nyumba kwa jaribu sana usije kuharibu mwili wako ambao ndiye kalu la Mungu. Hata kama umechoka, hakisha kwamba hekalu hilo la Mungu umelipa nafasi ya kupokea uwepo. Ndipo sasa maandiko ya samanga we are vessels. Vessel ni chombo ambacho kinapokea maji, ama kinapokea mafuta, ama kinapokea kitu chochote ile na kinakuwa na kifuniko. Spirit yako ndio access ambayo roho anaingia ndani ya mwili huo anakaa. So mwili huo ndio unakuwa mlango ambao unafungulia spirit yako Holy Spirit kuingia na uwepo wake. Kwa hiyo mwili huo akisha kwamba haujauharibu. Amen. Usuchoshe sana ambao kosa nafasi ya presence. Usitumie vibaya ambao wale kukosa nafasi ya uwepo wa Bwana. Maana Mungu atakuharibu ukifanya hivyo. Amen. Psalms 97 verse 5. 
Psalms 97 verse 5. The mountains melt like wax at the presence of the Lord. Wakati Mungu ameguruma na uwepo wake. Maana tukasema milima inayeyuka. Hallelujah. Nikusema kwa maisha yako na kwa maisha yangu, mambo yote ambayo yanakaa kama milima, magonjwa yote inajinuaga kama milima, mashambulizi yote yanakujaga kama mlima. Vizuizi vyote vinasimama mbele zetu kama milima wakati uwepo wa Bwana umeshuka hizo milima zinayayukaga haleluya ni kama uchukue ice uiweke mahali kuna jua inayayukaga na inakwisha ni kusema chochote kinasimamaga against us when we enter in the presence of God all of those mountain inayayukaga kama ice in the presence of God because the presence of God is the power of God lazima hali yote iyeyuke in the presence of Jesus so when the people are sukumu on the mambo, siri, ni buka in the presence of God. Iso milima hauta ziambezi ya yuke, zita ya yuka zenyewe. Ukena mahali wapio kuna nyoka inengia mahali, and then, uzeme hutai kusumbwana hiyo nyoka, ushuno kitafuta, we washa mwoto hawa. Ita zitua enyewe. Mwana sikuye. So chochote kinapiganaga na sisi kita yeyuka chenyewe wakati presence of God imeshuka. So baada ya mambo mengi, let us create time. Tukitafuta uwepo wa Bwana. Uwepo huo ukishuka, mlima utayeyuka. Can somebody say hallelujah? Ambe jani hiyo shida yako ni kidogo. Hiyo inakaa kama mlima ni kidogo. Ndio ukianza kuongea kwa ndao 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 kwa msimame ni mhubiri msimame kama mimi tuhubiriane kama tumesimama. Ni kama mnasikiliza karibu sana. Hello. Hiyo mountain iko mbele yako ni inaweza yuka kama wax. Yes. Wakati wepo wa Bwana umeshuka. Amen. Amen. Hebu tuende Psalm 16 verse 11. 16 11. Hizi verse zote ziandike mahali utaenda kuzisoma kufika nyumbani maana zitakusaidia sana kutembea katika uwepo 16 verse 11 yes you will show me the path of life in your presence is fullness of joy at your right hand are pleasures forevermore amen you will show me the path of life in your presence the path of life njia ya uzima utafunuliwa in the presence of god Kwa wale ambao mko mkitembea kwa giza, confusion imekuja. Chochote unafanya hakuna nuru. Ukitaka life, the path of life, idhirike kwa macho yako ukiona be in the presence of God. Hapo ndipo macho yanafungukana. Unaelewa njia zako. So usimwona kukaa nje uwepo wa Mungu pia kunakuwa na mambo mabaya. Dawidi anasema you show me the path of life in your presence. So chochote ambacho kinakuwa ni kama kinasimamaga wakati wote tunapojaribu kufanya kitu kinakupinga obstacles of life in the presence of God maana kwa sababu there's a fullness of joy because you understand the path of life and somebody say amen. amen at your right hand are precious forever more katika mkono wako wa kulia kuna precious forever more kuna furaha kuna kutoshereka there's a fullness of joy in the presence of god kwa it is illegal illegal for a believer to be at solo kukua katika uzuni ni makosa kubwa na ukiona a believer yote ana kwenye uzuni kile unaweza kumsaidia ni kumwambia aingie the presence of God huko ndiko amani na furaha inapatikanana wengi wetu tumebase amani yetu na mali ya dunia ikipungua tunakuwa na stress wengi wetu tumebase imani yetu kwa vitu vya dunia tukiondolewa tunakuwa na stress 
lakini Daudi furaha yake aliweka in the presence of God. Na pia nataka pia mimi na wewe leo hii maana neno limepandishwa Daudi wa leo. Unafaa uelewe Mungu anasema in the presence of, of God with the fullness of joy. Furaha hii utaipata in the presence of God. Bwana asifiwe sana. Psalms 51 verse 11. Take the Holy Spirit from me. Amen. Daudi anaomba, Do not cast me away from your presence. Usiniondoe katika uwepo wako. And do not take the Holy Spirit from me. Maana Daudi alijua kukaa in the presence of God na kuwa na Holy Spirit. Hiyo ndio furaha na amani, hiyo ndio victory. So bwana ukiniondolea roho wako ama uwepo wako uniondokee. I'm finished. Daudi anasema kwamba ati alikuwa na maadui wengi kuliko jiwele za kichwa chake. Kwamba alikuwa the only way to overcome these enemies and to be protected and to be secured is to be in the presence of God where the Holy Spirit is. Na hiyo wapendwa inalipawa gharama. Na ni gharama ya ku discipline your flesh. Unajambia whether you like it or not, leo ni one hour, two hours before the Lord. Hata mwili kataa inakwambia na sio usingizi. Inakwambia na sikia njaa, inasema sikia ujuaje, inasema kujibu Facebook. Unaambia no, it me and God for two hours. Hiyo ndio kutafuta uwepo wa Bwana. Wapendo haipatikani mahali pengine. Naweza nikakuombea saa hii na nikakonnect na usikia roho wa Bwana akiwa mzuri na usikia flow. Lakini kui sustain, kui maintain ni wewe utagaramika kulipa gharama ya kukaa katika uwepo wa Bwana. Hivyo naombeaga kwa nguvu za Mungu zinashuka. Unamaliki na kutaka pigo sababu nimeitisha. <laughs> Haleluya. Kuna mahali na jifichaga in the secret place. Ndio niamuru Mungu bingu ishuke jana watu. Lazima tukubaliane Amos 3:3. Inasema watu wawili wasiferekana bila kukubaliana. Na kuwa in the presence of God. Sometimes two hours. Nikiambia Mungu kesho rena mbele za watu wako. I need you Lord. Mbona sambena najisahau na sio nguvu zimekuja nyingi. Ndio wangu tu nabaki ukispeak in tongues yale vile liko. Ndio ni connect na heaven. Ndio nikiambia bwana jaza huyu anapokea. Lakini kikura ukali na kurana kujikunja hapo. Nothing will happen. Tabaki hapa ni kelele tu. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. Ambia jirani siri ni kukaa katika uwepo. Siri ni kukaa wetu mlio hapa mbele yangu ulikuwa very smart. Wacha niwapatie siri. Kama mtaka kwa mnachukua maiti mnaimba Mungu anaponya, watu wanajazwa na Holy Spirit kule nyuma, maana inawezekana lazima mujitrain to dwell in a secret place of Los Angeles. Kwa kwao kuseme every Saturday masaa mawili usiku mtakuwa mnaanga kila moja, mnaomba masaa mawili. Mkifika hapa asubuhi power ina manifest. Maana kuna mali mlikuwa usiku. Lakini wewe kisiagi namba 9 unagonga Monday mpaka Saturday usiku. Tembea maombi dakika 20 na unalala lala unasema roho shuka yawe 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 gani? That will happen. In the secret place of God I go. That's where the power is. Hallelujah. Hapo ndipo kuna kuwa na flow ya anointing. I wish you mzamke leo kile nakusema. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Haleluya. Unajua tumekuwa watu common sana katika mambo ya kiroho mpaka tumekuwa ma expert sababu tumezoea. Vitu vya kiroho azifanyavyo na experience. Una depend na Mungu each and every second akusaidie. Huyu kusema because niko na sauti nzuri najua wimbo nitaimba ama mapicha nikuchukua Bible tu nizibini. Ah! Kama hata hilo neno lisaidie watu kama hiyo gift yako iponye watu lazima mkubaliane na mwenye kipawa na kukubaliana na mwenye kipawa ni kukaa in the presence of God haleluya kama hata ndoa yako ipone go in the presence of God kama hata watu wako wawe secure dwell in the presence of God kama hata kazi yako Mungu ailue dwell in the presence of God on the way you come here na kwa nani I'm in church. Ivi kisha bongwa, sina hitaji la kupelekea pastor niombe Sunday. 
Hello. Bwana asifiwe. Kuna siku nataka hiyo pasta upate siku bwana hajamleta kanisani. Na wewe unataka unapokea anointi from the pastor direct. Kutoka Monday mpaka Sunday ni wewe na maisha yako ya kawaida. Wapendwa. That's a dangerous life that you are living. Train your heart. Discipline yourself to be in the presence of God from Monday to Monday and you will go far. Amen. Tumishika hiyo. Daudi anasema usiondolee roho wako. So ndipo sa roho asiondolewe na uwepo usiondoleka hapo. Usiende na kutoka. Be there. Hebrews 10 verse 19. Amen. Ndio nako sikose mira kwa sababu hii service leo itakuwa na mambo makubwa. Mwambie usikose hii service leo neema itakuwa kubwa leo. Leo Bwana, mwambie jikani leo Bwana anaenda kutembelea na njia kubwa sana. Muulize ushe experience fire. Kwa mikono yako. Mwambie leo unaenda kupokea fire. And somebody say amen. Mwambie leo utachoma wachawi wa kwenu. Waganga wote wa kwenu wanaofanya kazi na madawa leo wako kwenye hatari maana unapokea moto na unaenda kuchoma zote kwa jina la Yesu. Wale wote wana biashara maeneo wanaofanya biashara na wanatumia kama madawa leo kwa jina la Yesu. The presence of Jesus waka backfire wote. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, Brethren, having boldness to enter the holiest by the blood of Jesus the holiest by the blood of Jesus the holiest is a is a is a, is a presence of God is a secret place of uh, most high God ni maana ya Mungu anakaa the holy of holies so a believer ambaye ameoshwa na damu ya Yesu mwandishi na mwandiko anasema kwamba atiingie the holy place through the blood kwa hiyo mtu ambaye ameokoka ameoshwa na damu ame qualified to enter so tumesema kwamba ingie is the holiest place through the blood of Jesus. Kwa hiyo mlango umefunguliwa ni mimi na wewe tuingie. Hakuna kitu ya kuzuia to enter in the holy place. In the presence of God through the blood, blood in your sins. Ni thangu and your certificate ama ndio card ya kukuruhusu kuingia in the presence of God. Wakati Yesu alikufa msalabani maandiko nasamaje kitambaa cha hekalu kilipasuka na sote tukaruhusiwa kuingia. So through the blood of the lamb of God all of us we are already qualified to enter in the throne of grace through the blood of Jesus. Amen. 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 In my conclusion. Nataka kuangalia ni nini kinazuiana sisi kukaa pale. Because tumesikia Daudi anatunasha njia. Tumeona muhimu wa kwenda presence of God, tumeona security tunapewa tumeona kwamba tunapiganiwa vita tumeona the benefit and the presence of God na tumeona Daudi akiomba Mungu asimondolee the presence maana hiyo ndio everything but now ni nini kinafanyaka kusiingie pale na tukiingia ni nini kinafanyaka tunatoka tunashindwa kukaa pale tunaenda kuipata in the book of John chapter 12 verse 22 to 25 na hiyo shike vizuri maana hapa ndipo pako na kii na nena kumalizia na hapo John 12 22 to 25 Naomba ndio kana Kiswahili ndio tuweze ku soma kwa pamoja na tuweze kushika maana hapo ndipo pako na kii sana Ah tusikana somo sisi wote ndio sabu 1 2 3 we go 1 2 3 Amen. Hallelujah. Filipo akaita Andrea. Turudi hapo kwa 
Yesu Filipo akaenda akamwambia Andrea kisha Andrea na Filipo wakamwambia Yesu eh uh-huh. Yesu akajibu akasema saa imefika atukuzwe mwana wa Adamu hebu simama kidogo Wakati Filipo na Andrea walipokuja Yesu akaitwa kile Yesu aliwaambia wapendwa hawa hapa ndio statement inaanzia Yesu akawajibu akasema saa imefika atukuzwe mwana wa Adamu akawaambia ni ufumuo alikuwa nayo kama the time has come the son of god must be glorified but now atakuwa glorified yake even today unaishi the, the time has come for the son of god to be glorified in your life but how hebu tuende for 24 anasema amini amini anawaambia chembe ya ngano isipoanguka katika inchi ikafa ukaa hali hiyo hiyo peke yake bali kifa utoa mazao mengi. Alikuwa anasema ndio Kristo atukuke ndani yako, anapeana mfano wa chembe cha ngano. Wale wanapandaka ngano, uko ilifivali wanajua. Wakati chembe hicho kimepanda ama mbegu ya ngano imepandwa katika mchanga, huwa inakufa ndio iweze kuzaa zaidi. So Yesu alikuwa anamaanisha ya kama mtu yote anataka Yesu atukuke ndani yake, mtu yote ambaye anataka Yesu aonekane ndani yake na uwepo wa Bwana uonekane kwa maisha yake, awe kama hiyo mbegu anguke chini akufe. Anasikiwe? Ni kukufa umwili flesh. Hapo ndipo kii iko. Flesh and the blood ndio the enemy ya to enter into the presence of God. Wapendwa, until to crucify our body. Until we crucify ourselves. We will never enter in the presence of God. Maana huo mwili ndio adui mkubwa. Na ndipo Yesu anasema chembe hiyo lazima ife. So it can never be that kufa kwa mwili je, ni kukufa kuzikwa tu kutoka la ngata? Hapana. Ni kuzikwa hadi ni kukufa matamanio yetu ya wili ya wili your image your emotion your feelings your power you must crucify your wishes to the cross mama problem mengi kumbe ya wake ule we love ourselves too much tunadipenda zaidi ya neno la Mungu tunadipenda zaidi ya Kristo mtu anataka kwa kio akipondoe 3 hours lakini tupatwe nafasi ya kuomba Mungu that minutes hiyo mwili wako unaoipenda kuipatia kitu vizuri unless you crucify that body you will never glorify Christ in your life Pia tunajipondoa tukae smart kama tunaweza tukajipondoa spiritually we can go far Vile wanaume wanachoka wakifanya kazi nzito kwa nje ndio familia zao ziwe na unga kama tunaweza tukajipenda hivyo katika uwepo wa Bwana kuua mwili huu kwa maombi kuua mwili huu kwa fasini sisi kuingia in the presence of God. Na Yesu alipatia direction unless you die you will never Jesus will never be glorified in your life. Praise the name of Jesus. Hebu tuulize swali, ni lini ushaikuwa na time nzuri na Mungu kila siku? Bible imekuwa bado. Maombi imekuwa bado. Listen until Christ are more than your life more than you in your life you will never experience the glory of God Yesu are real more than yourself in your life you will never experience the glory of God in your life wakati umefika kama tunataka Mungu wa kanisa hii aonekane kwa maisha yetu huu mwili wishe zetu willing power vipuri matamanio zetu tamaa za moyo lazima tuzikrucify Yesu atupe control maana in the presence of God wakati tunaingia control yetu inakufia kwa mlango tukiingia in the presence of God Yesu anachukua shukani anaanza kuongoza wanaume anaanza kuongoza wadada maisha inabadilika maana in the presence of God Yesu ndiye anatawalaga si wewe Amen Kwa tunaambia unless we die Haya tunde hiyo basi uh, Nasema ikifa utoa mazao mengi. So for you to have fruits and results in your life, you must die first. Now what the meaning of crucifixion? 
Msalaba una signify death. Kifo huwezi enda mochari pale upate mtu aliyekufa akiongea. Anafanya yako kila kitu na ule mwenye kwa pale kwa mochari. Na sisi wakati selfishness yetu tunapokufa we live tunapokufa in the presence of God. Tunaachia Mungu kila kitu kwa maisha. Kutoka pale Mungu akianza kuongoza hatua zetu. Sasa tunasema mtu huyo anatembea katika roho. Mtu huyo roho ndiye anamtaidia. Mtu huyo ako kwenye uwepo wa Bwana. Na mtu kama huyo ukijaribu kumguza unaguza Mungu mwenyewe. Because ameshakufa, Paul anasema sio mimi naishi tena ni Kristo ndani yangu. Why? Maana Paul wa zamani ama Sauli haikushakufa. So Paul huyo ni Kristo ndani ya Paul. Na wewe siku utakufa wewe binafsi. Yesu achukue nafasi fully in your life you will become a great Christian. Yesu atatukuka kwa maisha yako. But our problem kubwa we love ourselves too much. Kuna mtu anaogaga mara tatu kwa siku. Hello. Asubuhi anaoga. Saa sita anaoga. Jioni anaoga. Wengine mnakula mara tano kwa siku. Kuna mtu kena kwa, kwa bedroom yake mavipondozi zile zimeteroka kwa self. Kisha ingia kwa angazeni sasa za kiroho. Karibu 1500 vipondozi kuna perfume ya Italy ya Czechoslovakia. Mavipondozi baka zingine majina imeandikwa na Kijerumani uwezi kusema jina unasemaga tu eh patile ya Germany unaletewa hiyo mambo yote ambayo we enjoy to give ourselves kama we can give we can crucify that will power to the submission of Christ we can go far si sasa kuti pondoa ni vibaya hata si sasa kuti kipondoa ni vizuri but listen hiyo ambayo unapojipenda ndio unafaa uelewe ya kwamba Mungu amekuaminia kazi kubwa na hiyo kazi hautaifanya ukiwa unajipenda au unajipenda kuliko Mungu na Yesu akasema hebu tusome kwa 25 tusikie Yeye aipendaye nafsi yake ataiangamiza naye aichukie nafsi yake katika ulimwengu huu ataisalimisha hata uzima wa milele so lazima you just hate your life si kusema kwa sababu bayo hujachanisha pana ndio kusema hiyo will power uichukie useme no hiyo mambo unapenda sana no Unapenda kulala leo ni kesha. Unapenda kula leo ni fasi. Unapenda kulala kwenye maombi. Unaikata, unanyima, unaikataza. Unless you reach that level. Kuna vitu vya kiroho vitakuwa ni historia kwetu. Kwa sababu the willing power of, of man ambaye ina dominate mawazo yake ndio inasababisha kwa Bwana anakuwa mdogo kwa maisha yetu. But the time has come and, and this is the time we must crucify ourselves on the cross so that Jesus can be glorified and somebody say hallelujah are you ready to die for Christ yes. in the city ya kukaa in the presence of God wakati ujumbe wa katibu bwana amenipatia ni walete anawahitaji nyinyi wote muingie in the presence of God muondoe power ya mwili na kujipenda na ungwana na kila aina yote ya selfishness maana hizi zote zinakuwa developed in the realm of the flesh but when you enter in the presence of Jesus zina kufaka zote zina yayuka unakuwa watu wengine tukikuangalia hivi hatukuoni wewe tunaona Yesu ndani yako matai wewe ushakufa hallelujah amen ningetaka kusoma nini nimesikia tu nimekuja in the book of act of apostles uh, Galatians chapter 5 verse 24 Kuna kitu Paul anasema hapo Galatians Aha To some kwa pamoja 1 2 3 we go Messiah. Those who are in Christ 
have crucified the flesh and its passions and desire. So mwili unakuwa umejawa na nini? Passions and desire. Hizo ndio mwili. So zina fasi we crucified on the cross. If you are crucified on the cross what will happen 25 One, two, three, we go exactly so wale mna struggle na kuacha mambo fulani pornography and hizo vitu vingi vingi masturbation mambo mimi ambao wa Kristo anafanya kwa mejificha if you die and crucify your passion and desire at your last on the cross those things will die in your life automatically how to start kuacha pornography it will die automatically ukitoa samaki kwa maji hivi uone inakufa ujaribu kusustain isikufe itakufa tu lakini ukirudisha kwa maji inarudi uhai na ina flow maana hiyo area yake so if you want to overcome power of flesh just enter in the realm of the spirit o flow pale zikakufa zenyewe the last of the flesh it will die automatically maana in the presence of god flesh hainanga nguvu in the presence of god flesh ina lack power But when you are struggling and fanya kitu leo kesho wanakosea na wanatuku kesho kuja wana struggle maana wana struggle in the realm of the flesh. Wajaribu kuacha matendo ya mwili wakiwa kwa mwili. Enter in the realm of the spirit. Maana the Bible says if we live in the spirit let us also walk in the spirit. Na ikiwa your lifestyle hiyo ikiwa your lifestyle how to struggle na vitu vya ulimwangu huu uziache kama ile ndio kutoka kuona kuelewa god will provide ukitaki kazi mungu atakuwa anakufungulia chochote utakuwa na ramani maishani mungu atakuwa anakupatia the best praise the lord kuna nini nakuja nasema mimi mali nimefika na send kama bwana na muacha sasa wewe uliangalia nje ukapendezwa na sura pambana na mtu wa ulipata dada ukapendezwa na watoto wanyi pambana na mambo ya kwa sababu kile ambacho cha muhimu si uso naangalia be in the spirit and the holy ghost will control you maana Mungu anaangalia na moyo atakupatia moyo unoka kama wewe hiyo ni realm nyingine so chote ambacho tunafanya tunafanya according to that realm of the spirit hata kazi wewe utakuwa unaingia tu kazi kwa sababu umetokelezea Mungu atakuwa anakudirect kwa kazi ambayo ni yako bwana sikiri in the presence of God is a fullness of joy and i'm going to pray for you each and every one of you today bwana afungue your realm muingie in the presence muingie in the secret place of most high god na wewe uniashue ukiingia autoki amen nani anashua akiingia leo hatoki okay mzee jana nitakutoka ngaje Ndio nani hiyo mama kwa plot msalamia nangi atakutoa. Mwambie huyo mama na huyo jamaa mwangalisha nani atakutoa kwa uwepo. Kwa sababu mtaani wewe unamwangalia sasa kitu kwa moyo kinatoka. So hizo ni vitu ambazo unafaa ushughulikie mapema. Mwambie Bwana mimi sasa kubeba misiko. I want to live a freedom life. Christ in me the hope of glory. Hallelujah. I will live and walk in the spirit because that is the will of God the Father. Amen. Bwana sifiwe. Yes. Are you blessed? Yes. Napo na kumaliza na kumaliza kusema hivi. Ukitaka kufanya mambo yote ambayo Bible imetuambia. Wapendwa, najua itakuwa ni mzito kwa wale ambao wamejazoea. Kwenda kwanza. Ukiingia kwa mwanzo kutoka siku ya leo, maybe utakuwa naomba usiku ama asubuhi. Hata ukisikia hauna breakthrough, usiache anzeni ku download nyimbo za worship kwa masimu zenu. Wakati naingia kumbele za Bwana unaweka hiyo worship kwanza una worship inakutengenezea inakusaidia kufungua anga and then unaingia kwa maombi. Every day anga na 30 minutes. Akisha tu 30 minutes kila siku umeomba. Ukiwa ni achieve that minutes ongezea 15 enda 45 every day. Ukifika 
of the same one hour every day. And I assure you, after three months, you will tell me. Kuna to give to me what you have to do in your life. To the disappear to the to some some weaknesses. If there's guys of Africa, be a sababu. Una nuniya watu be a sababu. Una siyo kasiriki atu kikiroto meona without a reason. Bosi yako una kasiriki be a sababu. Una to do what? To na ya yukaga in the presence of Jesus. So kita kuweza muiwa kona tamazake na mafilinzake. Ipereke in the presence of God. Automatically, zina yeyuka. Ushu una, una tubutuku baba, ni mekasika, ni same, niso zote, unafanyaka because of the flesh. Amen. Kwa chenu wana kujidisplay, katika area ya maumbi. Na hiyo baki mini uchaomba, before utoke, akisho mesoma, atakama ni chapter moja. Just for five minutes. Soma chapter moja ya Bible, na ushike, siku soma tuna kwa tokea, ushike na yueke dani yako. And then kutoka pale, una move na yoyo siku. Every day na chapter yake. Every day na verse yake. Maombi na verse. Maombi na verse. Ukifanya hivyo, utakua kutu wengine ambao ni very strong sana, na hata changa moto kikuja, hazita kwa zinakueza. Because kwa strong. Kwa nini unapeanga mwili wako chakula kila siku, dowe na mguvi ya kuendele na kuishi? Mutu wako wanangani pia, njo ukai the presence of God, unaitaji kumufidi. Na nafidua na scripture, na prayers, na kusikiza wa ubili, ambaye mungu wa mwapatia message. Ukiwa kwa job, hauna, una, una, una time, fuenda kwa YouTube, weka wa asa, ata kusikiza wa ubili. Wana sike? Kwa hivata YouTube yetu mwe muna, muna, muna like na muna subscribe, muna nafanya ingine? Muna share. Ndiyo ni nawanaga kwa wengi wengi nawanaga kwa kwa Facebook. Muna muneka tu ubili wengine wa ngambo, wana guruma guruma hako. Nashino wanya wa hatu wa anu wa toko wa hatu mimi baba yao kweli yama wana baba wengine. Kwa sabu siku kwa na YouTube pale, tu kwa na Facebook pale, au share hiyo. Kami na kubaliki kwa niusi ishe. Share na wengine, wacha piweza kubaliki wengine. Praise the Lord. Sikisa mobili hai. Kutoka pale, sikisa worship songs. Show my name. Decreate the environment that my mumbo at a point of temperature kills us. No, if I hear you after three months, you will tell me you will become a great believer. That's the secret. Amen. We just can't wait to meet you. We can't wait to see 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 you. Bufalo soja. Nyambi roa na shuka mari kuna bufalo soja. Bufalo soja na kumari kwa mandiko. Neule ya naimbe ya unabangi kwa hapa na piga ilu moshi. Na unamusizara. Roa kakimbia. Presence itaenda. Weka nyimbo positive za gospel. Worship songs. Za Kenya sana za inje. Zizizare. Zita kusaidia. Kukonect na Holy Spirit. As I finish. Makuhani walikuwa wanakitakasa one year Ndiyo inje the holy of holies Imagine Wanatua ngombe ya kutitakasa Wanatua mbuzi Wanaka one year Imagine Ndiyo wanusiwe kuingia Na bado wakingia Anafungwa mbuna nyororo Wanakati doko wanamtingiza Mana kuna siku Kako kutitakasa vizuri Walikuwa wanaingia mungu wanawawua So wakitigiza nyororo Utigiza mungu wanajua bado kwa hai Unatua gabi huko peke yako, unombe israeli, unombe taifalize, unombe watu wa mungu, unafanya kila kitu, and then unatoka. Yesu alituhurumia kama kanisa la leo. Kitambai kapasuka. Na kasema, kila a believer, through the blood of Jesus, you can enter. Tumefungulua mlango, lakini bado, tunachungulia, na tunatoka. So, ni mwapatia the way, ya kukaa pale. Kila siku, enter into the presence of God. Vita zingine na usifu kipigana, wewe ingia in the presence, utapata ushini usha pigani. Wanaopangia mabaya tunambiwa, wawa nyewe watakua na sambaratika. Man, in the presence of God, kuna protection. Hello! Patia jena mwambe, hiyo njono neno likona itaji ya kuna lingine. Mwambe, usifu ingia katika roo, shauri yako, mesaidiwa, numeka ta. Praise the Lord.
Anak sekir. Mana ibu sometimes cuma turun dia kapal tak ikut smile. When dia dah present, kita tak boleh smile dia tapi dalam sekejap lagi. Kau nak kau nak kifurah tinggi ni. Hello, kau kena barang dia just smile. Kau kena kasih dia smile nak kuda. Mana kau nak malu metoka? Kau tak kena kau ini. Ukur sama nak apa ini? Kau smile sama kau sorry. Kau nak smile kau ni ni way kau nak hidup cakap ikan ni. Kau ni muna. Muto ameka sirika kila kitu ameka sirikia matatu ameka sirikia para para kama yeye ameka sirikia stima ameka sirikia para kumu yari kila kitu ameka sirikia wana sio lakini wewe unapata kila wakati kuna fraha maybe muna ipo kushara nise ame ame maybe kushara kwa lindogo haitoshi vizuri lakini le fraha kona yao ni aki peke mana in the secret place of most high God there's a fullness of joy. And somebody said, Amen. Unangalia watu wako hivi, unona wanakaribia kwa na high school, hauna pesa, you just smile. Unasema, by the grace of God, hawa wataenda shule nzuri. Ni kwa sasa sina, but money is coming. Because in the presence of God, there's a fullness of joy. God will provide for me. Ima kwa mungu anapanyaka mambu yaki. Tusimame. Namba praise and worship, kukujia pambele, kutongoza na worship. We are going to pray for the presence of God. Iwe zako kishukia na na mimi kwamba tutabarikiwa. Wale ambao tutazama kutoka nyumbani, nataka tunene maneno ya baraka juu yenu kwa sababu hilo neno ambalo limewafikia. Go and practice that word. Enter into the presence of God and you will never be the same again. Baba nashukuru sababu kila mmoja aliyotazama kutoka mitandao hii ya Facebook na YouTube. Ninawaombea kibali chako na wambea mkono wako kama juu ya uwepo wako ukawafunika wote na nguvu za Kristo Yesu zikawatawala wabariki na watendee mema katika jina la Yesu Kristo tumeomba na takwa mimi